Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about some underhyped books by Latin authors that are on my radar. These are books that I personally haven't read but interest me and I thought I would talk about them. I have six books to talk about. I'm going to have all of the books linked down below. Um, that way you can check them out on Goodreads and see if they interest you. I have lots of notes <laughs> in front of me so I'm going to try to get through these pretty quickly so that this video is not too long. The first book is uh, Luck is Just the Beginning by Celeste Leon. She's a Puerto Rican author and I was super interested in this book just based on the premise. It's about a 19 year old boy named Ramon and he wins the Puerto Rican lottery. And as soon as he wins the lottery, he has all of these ideas and dreams of what he wants to do with the money. And a chain of events threatens his dreams. And so this is kind of a story about uh, family, loss, grief, um, and kind of what happens when you suddenly come into a lot of money and you've never had money before. I thought this was interesting and I also love that this is a debut novel by a new Puerto Rican author, a female author at that because I'm Puerto Rican and I'm trying to read more books um, by Puerto Rican authors and also more books about Puerto Rico. So this is one of them. I have another one on my list too that I'll talk about a little bit later but um, this is definitely one that caught my eye. The next one I want to talk about is Talking to Ourselves by Andres Noman. This was published in 2012 and was translated by Nick Kaistor or Kaistor. I don't know how you say his last name. Uh, this is an Argentinian author and one that's kind of been on my radar for a while. This story is a story based on three points of view. The point of view of the father, Mario, the mother, Elena, and then the 10-year-old son, Lilo. Each point of view uh, kind of represents a different way that we talk to ourselves. So that's speech, thought, and writing. The premise interested me. I love reading about points of view. This is a family drama, another thing I love to read about, and it's kind of short, so I thought that this would be a perfect one to try. I actually already checked it out from the library. I think it's like 150 pages, so I hope to read that one for Hispanic Heritage Month. Next, I have a memoir called uh, The Cruel Country by Judith Ortiz Cofer. This was published in 2015. Uh, Judith is a Puerto Rican author and this is a memoir of her return to Puerto Rico to take care of her ill mother. It's described as moving and lyrical and those two are kind of buzzwords for me so I definitely think that this is a good one to check out. And I personally love memoirs and I would love to read a memoir by a Puerto Rican author so this one's definitely on my list. Next I have Reign of Gold by Victor Villaseñor. This was published in 1991. Uh, Villa Senor is a Mexican-American author that is well-known, but I honestly don't know anything about him. When I read up on him, I hear that he's a notable author and well-known and all of this, but um, I think he's really underhyped. This is kind of a semi-autobiographical historical fiction novel. So it's basically historical fiction that's based on uh, real events or what really happened to Villa Senor's family. Um, it's two stories that kind of are weaved together and both stories kind of are told parallel and um, eventually they kind of come together. The two stories are of two children that are growing up in the middle of the Mexican Revolution and each of their families moves to the United States to kind of make it there and um, we kind of see how both children grow up in the United States, how they deal with racism and poverty and being immigrants. I thought this was really interesting. I think it's a very important read um, and especially now when we're talking about immigration and such a hot topic in the United States and from what I can see of the reviews on Goodreads a lot of people love this book so it's one that I definitely want to check out. The next book I want to talk about is Perla by Carolina de Robertis. This was published in 2012. De Robertis is a Uruguayan author that has written several books but this one's the one that stood out to me the most. This is a story about a young woman named Perla who grew up during the Argentinian Dirty Wars in the 70s and 80s. Her parents were involved in the war. One day, a visitor, one of the dispossessed because of the war, shows up and changes Perla's life. He challenges her beliefs and her views of the people that she loves the most. And so this book interested me for two reasons. One is historical fiction and two is about the Argentinian Dirty Wars, which I know absolutely nothing about. I haven't read any fiction actually that's set in Argentina and so I thought that this would be a really interesting book to try. Um, I also love stories where the main character is challenged by either some truth that they discover or a visitor that shows up and changes their minds. 
Um, and so this is a book that I think is written for me. So I definitely want to check this one out. And since Carolina has written several other books, then I'll be able to jump to some of her other more known books. But this one just spoke to me. Finally, I have Deep Down Dark by Hector Tobar. This was published in 2014. This is a nonfiction book about the 33 miners that were trapped in 2010 in a mine in Chile. Tobar is a Guatemalan uh, Pulitzer Prize winning journalist. And basically in this book, he talks about the 33 miners, kind of their backstories and how they ended up working in a mine, what happened and how they were rescued. And this was a story that was in the news in 2010. Um, we were kind of uh, following the miners for the 69 days that they were trapped. This is one that I can't wait to get to. I saw it pop up on my Goodreads one day, like a year or two ago, and I put it on my TBR so fast. I just love stories like this and I love that um, it's written by someone like Hector Toal, who um, what he does is write about nonfiction. So I think it's going to be a really good book to uh, read and I can't wait to get to it. So those are all the books that are on my radar. Let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these books or if you have any recommendations. I'd love to hear about them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.